it is time to open up this Batmobile. 22 inches. Let's see what we got from McFarlane. So on the little fins here, they are marked. There's an L right there for left. One of them has a right. Let's get these popped in. Take a closer look. I have L and R. Oh yeah. There we go. Pow pow. <laughs> card that was tucked into the cockpit. Batmobile action. Long forgotten and hidden away in the dark recesses of the Batcave. So I do believe in the movie. Spoiler alerts. It is found under a car cover in the Batcave by Barry Allen. Okay, let's take a look at this up close. Give you my... Th Ooh, hey. Bat symbol underneath. See that? You don't see that in other channels. Come on now, only the real code burnout's gonna find that. There it is, 22 inches of Batmobile glory. Seven inch figure standing next to it. We do have a cockpit for one. We'll see that, we'll test fit him here in a minute. So, it should be a cockpit for two. In order for this to be in scale with the seven inch figure, I think it would have to be another like five inches longer and wider obviously but at least we get a, a seat in there let's ad address the elephant in the room right now what color is that that's a light gray gunmetal gray type color on the canopy doesn't match the Batmobile at all so you know the rest of it's a, a darker black even though it's a little too shiny it's molded in a black plastic and what McFarland did was decided you know they painted the canopy their black paint apparently turned out more of a gray on this clear canopy. They decided just to go with it. They didn't care about uh, the customers on that situation. And I don't care what anyone says, that canopy is not a light gray in the Flash movie. It's, it wasn't a light gray in the 89 Batman movie either. I've seen the steels from, uh, you know, a couple of steel shots from the Flash movie and it's not. So I'll be very surprised if I go see the movie, and it is. <laughs> There's uh, videos out there. People are already re either repainting the canopy, which I'll wind up having to do, or doing a full repaint on it to take some of this gloss down, this shininess down, and make it more of a satin uh, finish. But, so, you know, that's a knock on it. Real rubber tires, which is nice. Uh, there is no lights or sound which is not nice. Would have been nice to have some lights or sound. Let's go ahead and take a look in the can in the cockpit here. Push this button, pops that open, that's pretty cool. And you can slide your canopy forward like you do in the movies. It can actually you take it all the way to the back position somewhere in here. Actually pull it forward a little bit and it can just rotate up if you want to do it that way. But we all know how we do it. We slide it forward like in the movie. Cockpit for one, as mentioned before. Only coloring in here is some silver on everything, on the dials and gauges. We got one seat there. All right, kind of got him spread eagle, got his cape kind of folded down so I can tuck it in. And I'm gonna wriggle him in there, watch out for his ear, his uh, bat ear pieces. So, I don't know how that's gonna be on the on the back ears, but he's in there. Yeah, he kind of looks cool in there. 
<laughs> little size comparison with the Spin Masters that you can pick up at uh, Walmart, I think maybe Target, I don't know. Whoa. So, I mean, size factor, this has it. This McFarlane has it, real rubber tires, all that. If it wasn't for this canopy, I'd be like super happy, even though it doesn't have the, any type of lights. I mean, sound, okay, you don't have to have that, but lights would have been nice. Uh, price point, what is this thing, like 59 bucks? So, I mean, price point, if you could get it, they're all sold out. So, I mean, secondary market, they've got these things jacked up three times the price easily. But then you're going to have to deal with this canopy. So, if it wasn't for that canopy issue, I'd really be super excited about it. Coloring on the uh, Spin Master is better. So, more of a satin type finish. They got the cockpit right there. Of course, it fits the four inch figures, but even they did a single. So, even their scaling was off. Okay, there it is. Let me know what you think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Boom. Yeah, it's a head scratcher for sure. I agree. <laughs>